Hey there. Hi, how are you? I am good. How are you? I am good. I'm trying to get my screen situated. I got too many tabs open. <laughs> <laughs> I All was right. tickled when we decided to do the Zoom because I thought if anybody is going to appreciate my background, it is probably going to be you. <laughs> I love it. I do. I love it. The first thing I saw was the pothead. That's pretty clever. <laughs> I don't even I remember agree. now where I got that. <laughs> well, it's delightful. And I definitely appreciate the chance to see that and to talk to you today about something that I'm, I think is pretty cool. So I, I am excited about it. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a quick intro and basically I'm going to ask you about what this project is, why you're involved, how it works, the impact that it's going to have. And then we'll spend a couple of minutes right before we're done for you to kind of give me an update on what's going on at Hideaway Cafe. Are you open? Are you doing deliveries? Maybe even mention the healthcare workers care package. Are you still doing those? We are still doing them. I only have a handful of the, um, what really sells it is those patient stickers. Ah. You know, I turn coffee and the happy patients. And I have to order more of those because we've shipped out almost a hundred of them in two weeks. One of them was me because I sent one over to Valley Health to my marketing peeps over at Valley Health I because that. I knew they were going to be crazy. Yeah, it's, this is an unbelievable time to be alive right now. So. <laughs> But it's, it, you know, I really like making them and it makes me feel like, uh, it makes me feel like I'm doing a little something for people. So I appreciate that. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we'll get started. Um, so Victoria, thank you for taking a couple of minutes late on a Thursday to have a conversation with me for this segment. Um, I'm trying to dub every Friday, Feel Good Friday. And I wanna feature people who are out doing good things in the community or are participating in things that are doing good for others in their community. And you had reached out to me, you and I of course have known each other for quite a few years now, but you reached out to me with this really cool new project of sorts that you're working on. So so tell me about it. So I am the city administrator for a program called serviceindustry.tips. That is the website. And it is a volunteer effort for that is led by uh, folks on the ground from cities all across the country. There's hundreds of cities now where we are trying to connect everyday people with the opportunity to tip a service worker when they are eating or drinking at home to help those folks offsite some of their lost income while their bars and restaurants are closed. And I think that's the thing that sometimes we're not thinking of when so many of these restaurants have now gone to curbside and carry out and delivery. That doesn't change the fact that the dozen or so servers that would be serving me if I were sitting down in their restaurants are now virtually out of work. They are. And, you know, as you know, it's going to take a long time for any of the trickle down support to get to these people. In the meantime, they still have to feed their families and buy groceries and pay rent and all kinds of other things. And for a lot of service workers, tips can account for as much as 40 to 50% of their total overall annual income. Uh, some folks even more. So, you know, for them to be cut off from that income is, is quite devastating for a lot of families. And when I heard about this project, I knew immediately that even though it's a lot of time to agree to be involved with it, that it was absolutely something that I wanted to do for the servers in this area. So how difficult was it? I know from the email that you sent me that you worked tirelessly to get, uh, what does it have here, 120 signups. So you have at least 120 servers, probably more because you sent me this email a couple of days ago that have signed up. 131, yep. Wow, so how does that work? They have to go on and sign up? They do. It's a very, it's a simple process on their side. They just go to serviceindustry.tips. They can sign up as a worker. They're going to add in their name, the location that they work at, and then either their cash app or their Venmo app. And essentially what the website is doing is the website will match up a server to a person who can tip them and the person will tip them through those two apps. So it's very simple for them to sign up on the outside. It's not just exclusively for servers and restaurants either. It's also for any tipped employees. So if you, you know, anyone who survives on tips can access and use this site. It's designed to help as many people as, as, uh, as we can. And you're managing the Winchester portion. So that's right. just for Winchester and Frederick County or just the city of Winchester? 
it's it's for Winchester and Frederick County. We are we are pretty liberal with how we are applying who is allowed to sign up because the reality is if you live, you know, I think I have one person that's in Middleburg maybe that works at a bar in Middleburg. And while that is outside of my true service area, there's no tips site in Middleburg currently. And so to tell this person, you know, we're not going to allow you to get this help that you need. It doesn't feel right. So we're, as long as we, as long as we can tell that they are an actual server or an actual tipped employee working someplace, we allow them to access the, the tools that the site has to offer for them. Was it difficult to sign up to be a manager of the program? If somebody wanted to do that for Front Royal Warren County or Shenandoah County or Clark County, how difficult was it for you to become a manager of this? It's not difficult. Um, I admittedly uh, had a little bit of an advantage because when I sent in my application, believe it or not, someone who lives all the way down in uh, North Carolina, I believe, um, I'm blanking on if it's North or South Carolina, actually recognized my restaurant from some of the other work that we did and, and fast-tracked my application. Usually it can take about three to four days. It took me about three or four hours. So I was pretty lucky in that regard. Um, but it isn't hard to sign up. Essentially, what they're looking for are people who are trusted in their communities, who are familiar with the bars and restaurants and tipped service establishments in their communities to be able to give what we call a sniff test. So essentially, we're trying to determine, is this per person really el eligible for these tips? Are we familiar with the bar and the restaurant that they work at? Do we have connections to make sure that that person is really a server at that restaurant or can otherwise verify? So it's not hard for people to sign up. Um, and we really are encouraging folks in every city across the country to do it, to help as many people as we can. I will tell you, I've already done it. I went on, used the link that you sent me in your original email, and I tipped uh, Vanessa, who is a server at Outback, 10 bucks mm -hmm. because I'm eating at home tonight. And it was very, <laughs> very easy to do. It, it took virtually maybe three minutes. It was a simple process. Yeah, and Vanessa has already received that tip. It's instantaneous. You know, for most people, they have their notification set up. So she will have gotten an instant message saying that someone in her community right at that exact moment was thinking about her, caring about her, and recognizing that we have got to share as much love in our community as possible to all get through this over the next probably two months of an impact. So it's a, it's a big deal to, you know, try to look out for people to the greatest extent possible. And it's kind of fun to do. You're sitting at home, you're having a cocktail, you're making a coffee, you know, and here's the thought, you know, even if it's just two or three bucks, you know, whatever it is, someone is going to get an immediate notification on their phone that they were thought about by someone who could have been their guest in their restaurants right at that moment. I use the Cash App. I have both Venmo and Cash App, but I use the Cash App and it even gave me the ability to send a note. So I was mm -hmm. able to write a little note and say, sorry, you're out of work. Please be safe and stay well. So it lets you even do a little personalization to it if you want to. Yeah, and a lot of people have. And, and that's the beautiful thing about it is, is while we're all in our little isolated bubbles right now, we still have this opportunity to reach out in some small way and, and do some good in some small way and to personalize it. So it's a really well-developed you know, system and I'm, I'm pr quite proud to be part of it. I will tell you, it did not surprise me at all to get this email <laughs> from you that this is what you were doing because this is kind of who you are as a person. So this didn't surprise me at all that you would take on this project and try and spearhead it and get it up and running. Well, I appreciate that. I, I feel so strongly connected to the people who serve in any restaurants here. I mean, obviously, I have six staff members who are not working in my establishment right now. And even, you know, even though I'm arranging to send them a small paycheck, that's not that pales in comparison to what they normally take home in tips or cash tips. I don't even know really what they take home in cash tips, right? So, um, you know, the fact that I can benefit 131 service work workers that represent over 40 different restaurants here you know, that's, that's really meaningful work to me. And I'm super, super excited to see how big we can grow this and how many people we can get to have signed on as, as tip workers. And then to just kick a couple of dollars over every couple of days to these folks, because they just, they really, really need the help. So Hideaway Cafe is located on the Old Town Walking Mall in downtown Winchester on the Cork Street end. Are you open right now? What are you, how are you finagling the coffee shop? So we are open for curbside service at this point, just 11 to four each day. And the way we've approached it is as long as we are 
you know, able to serve as long as the, the government deems us as an essential site because we are serving food. You know, we're trying to make it worth everyone's while and, and to be, to live up to that title. So we have ways where people can call in and pay it forward and we'll provide meals to people who cannot currently afford them. We have goodie packages for healthcare workers. We have all kinds of things that we can do in a completely touchless way. No one is allowed in the dining room. Everything is brought out to them with gloved hands and a complete cautiousness for sanitation and cross-contamination. So we are open, but not to the extent that people are accustomed to being able to walk in and enjoy coffee at our bar, which I really, really miss, by the way. <laughs> I really, really miss too. I was down there a couple of weeks ago. I met Justin Kearns down there and we walked the mall recording Tourism Tuesday from a few weeks ago, talking about how you could still be outside, keep your distance and do things. And I specifically had him meet me at your end of the walking mall because right. I thought at worst case scenario, I can peck on the door and she can hand me a coffee and close the door really quick. But you guys weren't open. I was devastated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we took a uh, we took a week break. I, I'm a I'm a little bit type A, so we took a week long break and cleaned floor to ceiling uh, to an extent that you know um, was probably a little bit obsessive, but we felt strongly that it needed to be done. And then after that, we closed the dining room entirely, so that guests this week could order with the curbside service knowing that no outside parties beyond myself and Greg, my assistant general manager, not even the other staff members have been allowed in that space for the entirety of the week. So, so how can people get information or place an order at Hideaway? Let's start with that. So is your Facebook the best place? Is there a website? Should they call? Give me all the contact information. So Facebook is the way to reach us kind of every, every day. Um, I, I'm a dinosaur in my 40s, so I'm still really into Facebook, you know. Um, but we, we post everything there every day. They can call us every day at 540-450-0799. I am working to set up some online ordering as well. Um, I'm about halfway through that process, but they can, they can reach out to us there. They can go to Facebook, too, to look at more information about serviceindustry.tips and how they can access that sort of site where you know, we call it server roulette. So how they can access that site to tip someone at random. So there's a lot of information there for them to, to get a hold of as far as what we're offering right now. And, you know, I also, you know, I should mention too, I also encourage anyone who is, is struggling, you know, um, we are, we're those kind of people. So they can message us on Facebook and we will uh, reach back out to them and help them in any way that we can because we've always been more than just a restaurant. We've always been the community's cafe and now I feel like the community needs us more than ever. So, And I'm grateful that you uh, didn't even blink to step up to that. So thank you for doing that for the entire community. Yeah, it's, it's, my, it's my privilege, you know, and I, I, I hope that we can continue to be operational and all stay well and healthy and be here for as long as this is to ride it out and then be back to welcome everybody back, you know, sometime probably closer to the summer where we're all celebrating and we can all give each other hugs again. I can't wait for that, you know. I know, right? I haven't been able to come in yet and get any of your cocktails, your coffee cocktails. So that's what I'm looking forward to. When this is all over, I can come in and get something with a little kick in it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think, I think everyone's looking forward to that day when they can go back in their restaurants and hear someone say, can I start you off with an appetizer or, you know, whatever it is. It's, it'll be a beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> well, Victoria, thank you for taking some time to talk to me about this project. I will put links both to your Facebook page and to the serviceindustry.tips website on the show notes page. So anybody that's listening now will be able to access it later if they want to go back and send it out or find your Facebook so they can share it with all their friends. Well, thank you for what you're doing to keep everyone informed. That's very valuable and critical work right now. So you stay well and healthy yourself too. <laughs> the coffee's keeping me healthy. The caffeine, for whatever reason, is fighting off everything, I think, at this point. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, my dear. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. That was great. This is going to sound good. It's going to play tomorrow. My first segment, you know Ashley from the Winchester Chamber. I do, yeah. She's doing free senior photos. Okay. 
he felt horrible that all of these high school seniors and college seniors now out of school are probably not going to get their senior photos. So she's got four or five yeah. locations that have agreed to let her use their space and she's going to do free senior portraits. And she recorded a snippet for me when she was at the station a couple of weeks ago doing the chamber show. So she's going to be the first segment of the show and then we'll go to break and we'll come back and then this will play. That sounds great. I appreciate you helping me get the word out. Absolutely. Thank you for reaching out to me. Always feel free to say, hey, I got this going on or that going on because I am always looking for stuff. <laughs> and and uh, particularly content that's not so sad right now. You know, Yes, that's been stuff. the worst part. Yeah, trying Hard to find to something. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your night. You too, my dear. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye.